Hello again, everybody. Tom from everystepphysics.com, everystepcalculus.com. In this video, a physics problem regarding average acceleration. And this comes up in several different, different versions and tests, but I'm going to show you how that's done. Physics to get to my menu. And we're going to scroll down here to Average acceleration. Average acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. And just a couple of comments. Sometimes they have tests where you they give you a graph with velocity versus time, and then you have to uh, you can see the time, you know, from a certain time to a, a final time, but you need to compute the velocity or look look at the graph to see what the velocity is at those time changes and then enter them into this uh, program. For instance, here's the final velocity and uh, we're going to have to press alpha before you enter anything to the, into these entry lines here. So I'm going to press alpha 18 number 4 meters per second. And this just shows direction. If it's not given, you just press number one or choose number one. And then enter initial velocity of, um, of uh, it's given, alpha. Let's say it starts out at zero, for instance. And the final time, alpha six and alpha and that will show you what you've entered. Now you had final velocity of 18 meters per second, initial velocity of zero, final time is six seconds, initial time is three seconds. You can change it if you want, but I say it's okay. And the answer is six meters per second squared. Notice we took 18 minus zero and then six minus the three. 18 divided by three is turns out to be convenient six. Uh, remember these programs are a tool for passing physics and calculus. You have to use them as a tool. They, you can't just scan everything into a, a calculator and up comes all the programs, all the problems exactly step by step. You have to use your own brain a little bit and, and adjust them or do what you have to to get the answers. Um, so remember, it's all scored on partial credit in the class curve. So whatever you can throw down on a test or uh, in t with some intelligence uh, is going to give you points. So keep that in mind, too. Hey, subscribe at my uh, sites and uh, see more videos on my on uh, calculus or, or physics as I might do them. Have a good one.